to be saved, Brother James, and to be set free, and to be born again, and not to lift up his name. Amen. I said not to lift up his name and to love him. We sing a song, oh, how do I love Jesus? I tell you, it's impossible to not be able to say, Jesus, I love you because you saved me, and Amen. you delivered me, and then you set me free. And because of that tonight, I love you. Amen. Praise God. It's impossible, church, for us not, amen, to love him tonight. I say it's not, it's impossible, amen, not to love him because of what he's done for us. When he saved your soul, praise God, you ought to be able to worship him and praise him tonight. It's impossible tonight, amen, for God to change you. Now, church, when you got saved, you got born again, you were bound by the Satan. You were yes. bound by sin. You were bound by this old flesh. And, and Jesus come in. Amen. And he changed your life. I said he changed your life. Praise yes. God. And I tell you, church, I want you to know that it's impossible <coughs> that we can't amen, be able to thank him. I want to thank him tonight. I want to thank him for what he's done already tonight. Yes. I feel his praise tonight. I feel his presence tonight. I feel his touch now. And church, we, we should be able to praise him and glorify him and thank him for what he's done tonight. And I said we ought to be able to thank him like yes. the sister said. We ought to testify. We ought to be like popcorn standing up and say, I want to thank Jesus tonight. Not only changing me, but he saved me. Praise God. He healed me. Glory to God. He set me up on a solid rock. And church, it ought to be impossible to sit still. I yes. said it almost be impossible yes. to sit still tonight, Brother Jane. Amen. Just a simple little thing has been this is impossible. And we ought to praise him and thank him now because he changed us. Yes. I say I thank God for every day for changing me. I, I mean I'm a, I wasn't the worst sinner in the world, but I was a sinner. Yes. I was lost. I had things in my life, amen, that had been taken care of. Amen. Yes. How many can say amen tonight? Yes. Glory yes. to God. And, it, 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 and I tell you, church, it's impossible tonight not to be filled with joy tonight. <laughs> Amen. If you've got the Holy Ghost tonight, if you don't have it, you can have it tonight, praise yes. God. Yes. Not to have, be able to have joy in your soul yes. tonight. Amen. Because the Bible says He fills us with joy. Amen. And I tell you, I'm going to praise Him tonight and thank Him. Amen. Church, I'm going to tell you something tonight. The devil is trying to hold God's people back. Yes. The church, if you begin to lift him up and glorify him, yes. there is nothing that God won't do. Amen. Yes. But we need to let the Amen. We need to let the world know. Like Jesus, when he healed that man with the, all those uh, Amen. The, 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 the uh, devil's never thing. He said, Go and tell them what I yes. have done. Yes. It's impossible for the church to keep her mouth shut. I said it's impossible to keep your mouth shut what God has done for you because there's something inside of you. Lord, be able to say, you know what? I want to tell you what Jesus done to me. I was lost, but Lord God, he saved me. I was blind, praise God, but now I can see. I didn't have a dance in my feet, but praise God, I can dance him. Yeah. Are you missing what I'm saying, church? I tell you, we ought, to, we ought to take time to worship him and praise yes. him and meditate upon him and thank him for what he's done. Yes. We ought to thank him for what he's done tonight. He's healed tonight. Yes. He's yes. delivered tonight. He's touched us tonight. He's lifted us up tonight. And we ought to praise yes. him tonight. Yes. I said we ought to pray. Give yes. the Lord a hand yes. clap tonight. We ought to praise you. Yes. It's impossible. Amen. Not to have joy. And not have a hope in you tonight. Amen. Because you're on your way to heaven. And, and you know that you're going to go to heaven because God gave you a promise. Amen. Yes. I want you to know tonight, church, that I believe God inhabits the praises of us. And that's what I want to preach just a little bit tonight. Amen. Don't you turn to Psalm 100. Amen. And, and no wonder David was happy. No wonder David, David rejoiced in the Lord. No wonder, church, he was, amen, filled with God's love and praise. Because, church, he recognized what God has done. And, church, when we come into the, his household or his congregation, amen, we ought to have a joy. Now, I know, church, in the world out there, he gives us all kinds of problems and all kinds of heartaches and all kinds of battles and everything. But, church, when we come into the house of God, I said when we come into the house of God, I said when we come into the house of God, Maybe we shall leave everything out there. 
Yes. Amen. You can yes. pick it up if you want to when you go out. But right, church, I'm here to tell you we need to let we need to drop everything off when we come in, amen, to the sanctuary of God. Yes. Yes. Can I hear an amen? amen. Can I hear an amen? amen. God wants to speak to us tonight. Yes. Glory to God. And we ought to give him glory. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I mean the whole earth. Yes. All the ladies should rejoice, amen, in the Lord tonight. All oh, if they just recognize, amen, but what God, amen, has kept her hands on the, on the world and the earth. Praise God. It says, let everything, amen, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the ladies. And you know what, church? I thank God tonight. We can praise Him and worship. Now, church, it might be a time. If we don't change our ways, that we won't be able to praise Him. But as we look in the Psalms 100, verse 1 tonight, it says, All the ladies, every land, every nation, every tongue, amen, amen. shall be able to worship Him and praise Him tonight. And there's going to come a time, Brother uh, Tony, that uh, the whole world is going to worship Him and amen. praise Him. Amen. But right now, church, just because the world doesn't praise Him, it does, doesn't mean that we don't, we can't praise Him. Amen. And I think God give us a place. I said, I thank God give us a place tonight yes. that we can come in, praise God, and gather together, unite together, and to worship Him and praise Him in the congregation. Glory to God. And the devil can't do nothing about it. Yes. Church, I'm here to tell you, I've seen people, when they come to church, they, they, may, need, they may need the healing. They may need a touch. They may need a, a deliverance or whatever. But when they begin to praise God and begin to worship Him, the shackles begin to fall off. Healing, yes. and healing begin yes. to take place. Deliverance begin to take place. They may come down in church. They'll try to, and, and, and down in the dumps and, and can't hardly lift their heads up. But when we come to church, we can lift those holy heads up and begin to worship Him and praise Him. And God will just He'll break the shackle. I said He'll break the shackle from the devil. I thank God we got a place we can run to. I'll give the Lord a hand. This is impossible. Amen. If you begin to think about what God has done, that we can't praise Him and worship Him in the congregation. Amen. The Bible says in verse 2, serve the Lord. Amen with gladness. And first every time, God's people need to amen to put up some joy down in their soul. See, I said all these things because we ought to have a gladness, Brother James. Amen. Yes. We ought to have a joy in our heart. We ought to have a praise in our heart even before we come to church. Right. Yes. We ought to have that at home, praise God. And we ought to bring that with us. Like I said, if you don't, if you don't have a joy in your heart, if you don't have a praise on your lips, and, and you're down in the dust, you leave it at the door, praise God, yeah, yeah, yeah. and come on in and just worship yeah. the Lord because God inhabits the praise. And, yeah. and I'll guarantee you one thing you'll not go out, you'll not go out the way you come. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe that, church. Oh, glory to God. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with saved. Oh, I tell you, I thank God tonight for the saved. I thank God for the song tonight. Because those songs, they had deliverance in them. They had joy in them. Praise God. They had church, they had encouragement in it. Amen. That's why we should come tonight and have a, have a song in our hearts and a song in our spirits and begin to worship Him and praise Him. Because church, I'm here to you, God will do things when we worship Him. Amen. I said God will do things that you never dream of if we will worship Him and praise Him. That's, he, he desires that praise God. No. No. I said no. no don't worry about knowing what the, what the Reds are doing or what the, amen, the, the playoffs are or what the, what the present race is or whatever. Just know God. Because see, God knows everything. And God is in control of everything. Yes. You know, we need to praise Him, praise God, and know Him. Amen. He is good. He's just not good when we feel good. He's good all the time. He, amen. amen. He's not good. Amen. When, amen. When you're in a valley, He's good all the time. Amen. When you're in a valley, He's good. When you're on the mountain, He's good. When you praise God, when you're sick, He's good. Amen. When you need a deliverance, He's good. Yes. God is good. He's good. Yes. He's amen. good all the time. Amen. I get the Lord. It's impossible not to praise Him and to worship Him because He's our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. 
It's, it's hard not to worship him and thank him when you know he saved you. God did it. God sent his son down to do it, praise God. It's impossible, praise God, not to love him and worship him because he changed you. Oh, hallelujah. I just began to write things down with what the Lord gave me. He said, no, ye that the Lord is God. Oh, he's God. He's God back there. He's God up here. He's God on the floor. Oh, he's God everywhere. I said, God is everywhere. He's God when you need a sick man. He's God, praise God, in the midnight hour. He's God. I said, he's God. And we need to worship him that he is God. And whenever we need God, he's always there. He'll never leave us nor forsake him because that's who God is. He's God all the time. Hallelujah. Praise him because he's God. Know that he's God. Hallelujah. And he has made us. Now, we know we said, well, that's where we was in the mommy's, the mommy's belly, amen? And we was in the mommy's belly. Thank God for the mommies. Amen. Thank God that uh, they, they carried the them babies for nine months. Yes. Amen. And, and they were delivered. But see, he knew. You know, when, when, I, before, when I was in my mommy's womb, I didn't know it. But he, he called me to be a preacher. Amen. Yes, he amen. called me to be a pastor. Are you listening to what I'm saying? God had plans and a purpose for everybody. And God don't like the idea for a person to take charge, amen, of, of, of the babies and everything. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Oh, glory to God. He has made us. He's what you are tonight. I was rigid, miserable, poor, blind, naked. Amen. A sinner on my way to the devil's hell. But thank God he changed me. Yes. You know what, church? Not only did he change me, he changed my name. Yes. I don't know what my name would be up there, but he gave me a brand new name. And he gave you a brand new name. Thank God. God is God. God is good. And he knows what he's doing. Yes. Hallelujah. Know that the Lord is God. And he has made us. Not we are self. You are what you are, not because of God. Amen. I said you are what you are because of God. Now, he made you. Amen. He formed you. Amen. He had plans for you. Praise God. <coughs> and we are His people. That's right. They were recognized something tonight, church. That psalmist did. God is God. He made us. Praise God. He said, I'm, I'm, his, I'm, his, I'm his children, or I'm his child. I, in other words, I'm his little lamb. Amen. When I, was, when I couldn't walk, he picked me up and carried me. When you couldn't walk, God picked you up and carried you. Yes. He's, you're where you are now because God's the time carried you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Right again. Now, he said, we're his sheep. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. That means, church, now you've got to understand what he's talked about. See, before you can come into the gates and before you come in and worship him, there had to be a sacrifice out there. Amen. You could come in like we come in today. Because before you could enter in, Brother Change, there was a, there was a sacrifice place that he had to make sure that he was covered yes. before he could enter in. Right. Amen. Thank God, church, that it's already been done for us and we can come now boldly, amen, to the house of God, boldly to his place, and worship him and praise him. We ought to be praising him now because now we can come boldly before the throne of God and we can worship him and glorify him because he is God. I said he is God. Hallelujah. Enter to his court with praise. <coughs> we ought to have a praise on our lips. Don't let the world drag you down. I said don't let the world drag you down. Don't let, don't let sin down. drag you right. down. Amen. Don't let the devil drag you down. Don't let the flesh drag you down. You, amen. You lay that stuff off. Amen. And give it to Jesus. And you come into, amen, to his court. 
and begin to worship Him and have a praise. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, yeah. Jesus, because I can come in your presence tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I can come into the holiness of holiness. Thank you, Jesus, because I can come in and worship yeah. you and praise you. If I need a touch, yeah. if I need a deliverance, you're cool. there to do it. Praise God, because you pay the price praise. for me. Amen. Amen. And it's impossible. If you love God, it's Amen. impossible not to praise Him. It's impossible not to thank, thank Him. It's impossible not, not to glorify Him. If you know who God is Amen. and what He's yes. done for you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Enter to His gates of thanksgiving this morning to pray. Be thankful to Him. Bless His name. For the Lord is good, not just when... All the time. Not just when we want him to be, but he's good, he's good all the time. Yes. When we're bad, he's still good. Amen. 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 Yes. He's good when we're good, but he, he's good when we're bad. Yes. Amen. 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 He never stops loving us. Amen. Praise God. His mercy is everlasting and his truth is do it through all generations. Now, the Bible says, now, see, David recognized, or the psalmist recognized this, and he recognized who God is. What God has done, amen, and what God has done to him and changed him, that the, he still keep, and he still keeps going on. We can go to Psalm 100, verse 43, and look what he says. The psalmist says, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. As long as we got breath. Now, I got news for you. I'm like old Jacob. Jacob did praise God that he wasn't going no worse. Job wasn't going to go no worse. Apostle Paul wasn't going to go no worse. And you're not going to go no worse until God gets through with you. Amen. So just stay busy. Stay, worship Him and praise Him. And as long as we glorify Amen. Him, as long as we praise Him, and as long as we look up to Him and say, Lord, I praise You for what You did. Praise God. We're going to, Amen. And He'll give us that. He's in charge of that last breath. Amen. 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 I will sing the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise unto my God. Why have I been? Because I know what I'm doing. Amen. Amen. And he goes on farther than that. Psalm 111 Amen. verse 1 says, Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. Now I tell you, you get down to business then. I mean, see, the Bible said what comes out of the heart Amen. The mouth speaketh. Right. Or what your life does it. You got Jesus in your heart. And you got a praise in your heart. It's going to come out. And see, God knows where it comes from. Mm -hmm. So if you got a praise in your heart, glorify God and worship Him. He, I think He is habit said. And He said, I'm going to bless my child. I'm going to lift him up yeah. so he praise me. And God did not with his lips. Amen, not with his mouth, but he praised me with his heart. That's my, his whole being. That's your whole being. When you begin to worship God and praise God with your heart, you worship God with all your being. I said you worship God with all your being because God looks down in the heart and what's coming out of the heart through the mouth, he recognized that it's a true praise, praise God. I'll give him a little hand. Yes. Yes. It's impossible not to worship God right. and not to praise him. And he goes farther than that. I'm fixing the clothes. They will look back on his life, and the psalmist did. See, there's times we need to look back. How many times did God has spared your life? Right. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can look back in your life, and if God had not spared you, if God had not interceded, you would probably be in a devil's hell tonight. Amen. I would be in a devil's hell tonight. Amen. Oh, this is what I'm saying. And church, me tell you, God does so many good and wonderful things for us. Why don't we praise Him? Why don't we lift up Him? Why don't we worship Him from our heart? Because church, we need to praise Him. Psalm said, 150, praise Him for His mighty acts. And the one He's done. Nobody, but nobody, but nobody can do me like Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants you to praise Him. When you feel bad, He wants you to praise Him. When you're down in the moldy grubs, He wants you to praise Him because you won't stay there long. When you're in a battle, 
He wants you to praise Him. Amen. He wants you to recognize He's God. He's God in your battles. He's God in your valleys. He's God in your discouragements. God is good all the time. Amen. And God is never going to let us stand. Amen. It's impossible not to praise Him, to glorify Him, if we're really saved. And know God. Know God, who God is. He's a great I am. Tonight, I thank God for what He did for me. Amen. And you know what? It's absurd. It's, a, it's amazing. God can do miracles in our lives. Got, and, and, unless it's a big, uh, extraordinary miracle, we never say anything. Until they end. But we don't say the, the praise that they would come to the little thing. Sure. God can't bless you for the big things because you don't praise Him for the little things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We need to have a praise to God yeah. all through the day. We need to thank Him. Keep our mind upon Him. Yeah. It would be impossible for not to feel the presence of God. And the glory of God, it will be impossible for me not to praise Him. There have been times that I needed a touch. There have been times that, Lord, if you don't touch me, if you don't just, lift, uh, just touch me and lift me up, I don't know what I'm going to do, in other words. And I begin to think about Him. Begin to lift Him, my brother James. Before you know it, I'm lifting I'm praising Him, speaking in tongues, and the glory of God just yeah. comes to yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Well, so we, but we need to tell people about that. Yeah. We're overcomers by our testimony. I said we're overcomers by our testimony. It don't have to be a big old testimony. It was good. There's one guy that come with me, Brother James, and he was, he was kind of an elder guy. He felt like he never had nothing good to say. He didn't have a good testimony. But every, James said, did anybody got a testimony? He said, Brother Maggard, I thank God I'm saved. Pop my back down. Brother Maggard, I thank God I'm saved. And you know what that never has left me? That was a seed that was sown. Amen. You, don't have, you don't have to have a big testimony, which they're good sometimes. Yeah. But just ever since you know I'm glad that God saved me and did he saved my soul, and I'm so thankful. I just, just begin to praise Him. We need a testimony in our hearts and our lives, and we need to lift up Jesus. Amen. When God, and I don't testify unless God lays it on my heart, but God lays on my heart and say, "You need to praise Him. You need to stand and praise Him." How many times you went home and you didn't obey God? And he told you to testify. Right. Hello? How many times? You lost your blessing, but somebody else lost their blessing. Somebody might need to hear what you have to say. Think about that now. Amen. Amen. If you have a testimony tonight, it might be a real long testimony. You don't have to preach tonight. Amen. You say, I'm not glad I'm saved tonight. I'm glad for God's word. I'm glad for God's message. I'm glad I'm on my way there. Just simple things like that. It touches people's lives and touches God. Anybody got a testimony tonight? I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Amen. Anybody else? I'm thankful I have a way to church way back home. Praise God. Anybody else? Yeah, Sister Angie. Sister Angie was singing that song. You can take me out of church, but you can't take the church out. Amen. Of me. I've been thinking about that all day. I've been going to church for about forty-six years. And you know, when you lose your desire to come out to the house of God, <laughs> you're backsliding. Yeah. I got a brother-in-law down in Kentucky. He used to say, "You're going to go to hell if you don't change." He's <clears> backslid <throat> two or three times. He's not in church. He's having marital problems. And I was thinking, you know. We have one cup in church that we don't need to go to church. We are old. You need to be in the house of God. He said, not forsaken, assembling yourselves together 
even more so as you see that day approaching. What day? The day of his appearing, coming back for uh, for his people. So I count it a privilege to get be able to come out. It may come a day we may not see it, but the church right. children that you know they may not be able to go out. One day, one time, Russia could go out, and then they come communist, you know, and stuff. So we better appreciate being able to come out to the house of God. Amen. And you know, I, well, I tell you, the Lord has moved here tonight. And we took time to obey the Lord, yes. and I tell you, God has moved. And I just, I just thank God that that, that I'm still able to get out and go to the house right. of God. You know, I've not lost my desire to come out to the house of God. Anybody else? Praise God. I thank God for the service. <clears throat> yes. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank God for so my being here, for being Amen. with me and taking care of me. Because I'm in the head. Praise God. He's taking care of, of, of me and you and all of you all of our lives. Yes. He's been a steady presence there. Someone that you can call on that you can depend on, you can't call yes. on or depend Amen. on anybody else. The Lord is there. Praise God. And as long as I can breathe, I feel the Lord today. Praise to God. Amen. Anybody else? Jesus loves me for the Bible. Yeah. Amen. Yes. That's a great little song. Yes, it is. Very great. She's up, she's. Pastor, I just want to thank God that I was raised up knowing the right way. You know, mommy and daddy left church for many years because of her feelings. Thank the Lord for um, saving me and yes. that all my blood work came back good and I'm 18 years cancer free. Amen. Amen. I'm a walking miracle right now. I thank God for it. And I, I believe right now that God's not going to let me go no worse until I'm done. Amen. And I have no fear of death. I told them people when it was to give me a fusion. I'm just, I'm, I'm telling this because of Jesus. And it, and it was talking about people dying and everything. And I said, well, I, don't, I ain't afraid to die. I said, Jesus took that fear away from me. I'm a Christian. Amen. I'm saved. Amen. Really? You're not afraid to die? I said, no. I can lay my head down Amen. because I'm not going to know what God gets through with me. And when Amen. I have all these surgeries and things on my heart and everything, I went, I had peace. I just closed my eyes and said, Lord, I'm either going to be with you or I'll, I'll be here. Amen. And I had a peace. I tell you, you can't fear, you can't fear these things because God took the fear out of that. If you got faith in Jesus, He takes the fear out. Anybody else? Say it. Thank the Lord tonight for our service. I knew as soon as Sister Farrell spoke up tonight and said, let's sing that song again, I feel like this is going to be 
service tonight. When the Lord comes in and takes over Amen. and touches everybody. Right. Yes. I think tonight everybody here has been touched. Yes. I think everybody in this congregation is tonight has felt the Lord's presence <coughs> and realizes what a blessing a service like this is. Amen. Amen. It'll take one person, sis. Thank you, God. One person will obey the Lord in service. And he did rep the service a lot of times through. God used that one person to hold you up. Did I hear somebody else? I want to thank God for you and Sister Beverly that you stand for the Word of God and Amen. you preach what's right. And we got good brothers and sisters here. Yes, love the Lord. Love and morning. you know, you can call up on them, I believe, anytime, and they, they were willing to pray for you, pray for us, and be there for us. Maybe a lot more than some of our families would. So it, it counts a lot having a good church family. Amen. I thank God for the They are your family. That's right. Your church family he is your family. Yeah. Brother Bill, I thank you. Yeah. Did you say something, brother? I'm saying God carried me through the day. I'm not having a weak time, you know, like physically weak a lot of times. But, but God sees me through. He carries me through. Amen. Yeah. Right. The truth will set you free. Praise right. God. Yeah. Amen. All right. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Thank Amen. That's a good testimony, too. Thank God for saving I feel the Lord tonight. Amen. All right. Well, that, that's the stand tonight.